The vehicle Blind de Combat Infanterie, also known as VBCI, is a French infantry fighting vehicle developed by GIAT Industries and Renault Trucks Defence. As a replacement for the MX 10P, it was introduced into active service with the French Army in 2008, with a total of 630 units ordered and delivered by 2018. Although Spain and Britain expressed interest in acquiring the vehicle, they ultimately chose domestic alternatives. The VBCI features an aluminum hull and a modular steel and titanium armour, which can be replaced in the field. Its 8x8 wheel design offers several advantages, including improved comfort, reduced cost, ease of maintenance in war theatres, and complementing the mobility of the Leclerc tank. Additionally, the VBCI has a low empty mass of less than 18 tonnes, allowing it to be transportable by the Airbus of 400M aircraft. This feature enhances its deployability and operational flexibility on various missions. The VBCI has a mass of approximately 28.5 tonnes. It has a length of 7.6 metres, a width of 2.98 metres, and a height of 3 metres. The VBCI is designed to accommodate a crew of three and can carry an eight-man combat team, providing effective transportation for infantry units in combat scenarios. Its spacious interior allows for the transport of troops along with their equipment, ensuring their readiness for operations. The VBCI is equipped with a Renault diesel engine that delivers 550 horsepower. Its wheel suspension system allows for enhanced mobility and maneuverability on various terrains. With an operational range of 750 kilometers, which is equal to 470 miles, and a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour, which is equal to 62 miles per hour, the VBCI offers the ability to cover long distances quickly, ensuring the timely deployment of troops and supporting missions effectively. The reliable engine and suspension contribute to the vehicle's overall performance and operational capabilities. THEV BCI is equipped with Stanag Level 4 ballistic armor, providing protection against 14.5mm armor piercing rounds from all directions. Additionally, the front of the vehicle features enhanced protection with Stanag Level 6 armor, capable of withstanding 30mm cannon rounds. These advanced armour levels ensure a high level of survivability for the crew and troops on board, offering increased protection against various ballistic threats encountered in the battlefield. The VBCI's robust armour plays a crucial role in safeguarding the person ill and maintaining their operational effectiveness in combat situations. The VBCI is equipped with the Dragger Turret, a single-seat modular design turret developed by GIAT Industries. The turret features a stabilised 25mm gun, providing accurate and effective firepower against various targets. The fire control system incorporates advanced features such as a laser range fender and a thermal camera, enhancing target acquisition and engagement capabilities. With a rate of fire of up to 400 rounds per minute, the Dragger turret enables rapid and continuous engagement of enemy forces. In addition to the main gun, the turret includes a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun for close defence purposes. The Galax grenade launching system further enhances the VBCI's defensive capabilities. It should be noted that the addition of the turret increases the vehicle's weight by approximately 2,000kg, reflecting the importance of firepower and protection in combat operations. The VBM project, initiated in the early 1990s as a collaborative effort, between France, Germany, and the United Kingdom, faced challenges and ultimately resulted in France continuing the development independently. In 2000, France placed an order for 700 vehicles after the project encountered difficulties. Subsequent tests conducted from 2003 to 2005 revealed design flaws in the Dragger turret, leading to a two-year delay in the programme. These setbacks highlighted the need for redesigning the turret to address the identified issues. Despite the obstacles, significant milestones such as successful mobility, agility, armour and electronic systems tests were achieved during the programme's progression. On 23 June 2010, the French Army received the 200th VBCI, marking a significant milestone in the programme. Two years later, on 12 June 2012, 
the 400th VBCI was delivered to the French Army. The 35th Infantry Regiment in Belfort became the first unit to be equipped with this new infantry fighting vehicle. The delivery of the 500th VBCI to the French Army took place on the 8th of July 2013, further highlighting the continued progress of the program. Additionally, the delivery of 110 command post vehicles has been successfully completed, contributing to the overall completion of the VBCI fleet. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more content.